Has there ever been any boat accidents? Yep. I'm the John Gape, and this is day number three of my 11-day road trip here in Costa Rica, here on the Tortuguero River. I'm the Jaunting Ape, and if you've stumbled across my channel, consider yourself lucky. If there's one thing that I absolutely love in this world, it's road trips. I love to travel, but even more so, I love to travel by road trip. I'm here in La Fortuna, Costa Rica. I flew into San Jose, I rented myself a car, and I'm just going all about for 11 days on a road trip. Uh, I don't know where I'm staying, I don't know where I'm sleeping, I don't know what I'm gonna see. If you're interested in content like this and you wanna see how stuff goes on, well, you've come to the right place. I'm the Johnning Ape, and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. The world is yours. Pretty warm little sleep last night. We'll start today with a cold shower. Nothing quite like a cold shower to wake up your day. It's actually not that cold of a shower. It's uh, kind of warm. It's not like the cold showers in Canada. Now I'm awake, I feel better. A little sleepy, but. And there's Mr. Dixon right on time. 20 after 4 in the morning. Big day today. Just about forgot my GoPro. That would have been real bad, but I got it now. So the plan today, we're going to go down the river, seeing some animals and... Um... Not in the morning. Today, not in the morning. We're going to go straight Okay. to ride with these guys. Yep. So you're going to ride the canoe with them. Right. You come back. We're going to do also a boat later. Okay. And we can go to Pavona, and then we come back in the boat, and then we can do shots at the river, and then we're gonna get some people on board around one o'clock. We go down, do the tour in the river, and then come back in the afternoon. Perfect. So we're gonna have like the river, lakes, inside the jungle, park, everything. Sounds like a super day. We'll stop for some Petro before we hit the river. Brand new gas station built in November. Richest family in Costa Rica built it. They got 25 of these. Pulling a boat out of the water in the morning. It's a little cafe here. We got some snacks, good things in there. Nice. Right on. Right here. Perfect. In the front, yeah. Straight in the front. You got VIP parking there. <laughs> How long of a ride is it? This one? Yeah. Today, like 30. 30 minutes? Yeah. Yep. So we get like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So it's about a 30-minute drive by boat to get to Tortuguero when you're going full out. And that's what we're doing here. 35 minutes and uh, we'll be there. I'm gonna get on a canoe and do some canoeing. The only way you can get to Tortuguero is by boat or by plane, right? There's, that's the only way to get to Tortuguero is by, by boat or by plane, right? By plane and by boat, yeah. yeah. Pretty nice place to watch the sunrise. Has there ever been any boat accidents? Yeah, we know, you know, places that it should be, you know, like this, for example. Be more it's careful. Really close round, yeah. Yeah. So we open wide and, but today river is, you know, we got full capacity. Yeah. You see this, this one more round is also 
really, really close and gotta take care of it. To San Francisco? That is. Oh yeah. Just like that? That's gonna be native tree, okay? Yep. Yeah, ho. Dang. Yeah, Kevin is on the way. New dock. Busy place. Mornings. All righty. <laughs> nice. She's a full house on here. It's a full canoe. But I got the best spot. Dixon took care of me. Boat leaves at six. I wanted to get a washroom, but they didn't. Uh, I didn't have time. Let's see how long this adventure is. Okay, friends. In a few minutes, we will be at the rancher station. Okay? That's where we're supposed to stop to show the entrance fee of the national. Entrance fee? I didn't pay no entrance fee. like seeing a jaguar. <laughs> really, really? I've seen jaguars two times since I'm here. 21 years. Oh, i seen oh. manatee only one time. i seen manatee a lot of times, but in my hometown. Why? Because in front of the town, you have a huge sandbank. When I say sandbank, is a, is a huge area, like almost 40 meters. You walk into the water, and the water do not pass from you. Yellow line and also yellow. As you realize, this one do not have any one of these. Truth benign, little. Hey, Mark, you have a good position? Mm -hmm. Let me know what because after, after this thing here, you have to talk about, deal about it. <laughs> <laughs> Enough sun. I'm good. Needed my back scratched, anyways. So that was the trip. Just about three hours. I had to go to the bathroom really bad when we started. Didn't get to go because we just got there on time. So I just used the bathroom at the office and they charged me a dollar. A whole dollar and didn't even have a, a toilet seat but I only had to do number one so I didn't need a toilet seat but it's pretty good tour would have been better if I didn't have to pee the whole time like for literally the whole time from the second I got onto it I knew I'd made a mistake this is Torta Guerrero Hi. Crazy little dogs. 
So I'm just gonna romp around here and find a little something to nibble on. Souvenirs, nothing's open yet, it's too early in the day. Suppose I could have used this toilet. It would have been free, except for I would have had to go in front of everybody. Yeah, the streets are super quiet right now. I should say the street is super quiet. There's pretty much only one walkway here toward Aguero. Would have been something to stay overnight here, I guess. The people that were on my boat tour, they didn't have to wake up till uh, five o'clock, which is better than 10 after three, like me. It's pretty early, I'd say. Get myself a light snack here and find Dixon and see what's next. Get myself an energy drink for good measure. Hold on, I'll take a Red Bull. One of these donuts. How about this? That looks darn good. Looks like they're slinging meat pies over there. I hope they're not they're meat pies and not plantain pies or something of the sort. Kayak rentals were here too. It looks like I had a pretty good seat on my canoe trip, but I think a kayak rental would have been pretty cool too. You can get away by yourself. This place kind of reminds me of Cove PP. PP Island. It's like a Spanish version of it. Kind of neat. Not much going on here. Pretty quiet around these parts. Make your day and get away. The little doggo wants some of my empanadas. I got two empanadas for 2000 which is cheap. That was about the cheapest that I could find of anything. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna enjoy these. They're gonna be tasty, they're gonna be nice. I'm not sharing with any doggos. Oh, it is quite tasty. I had chicken, cheese, and meat. <laughs> and I guess the meat was pork. I asked if it was beef. It's pork. Oh my god. Land of the doggos. But there's not much for action here. Most of the stores are closed. It's 20 to 10. Yeah, it's probably time for us to go. Do the jungle tour on the way back. It's pretty cool. I just gotta find my my Dixon. Some little wild chickens. Hey chicken. Can't even get myself a darn coconut yet. Nobody's slinging any coconuts here. Why? Why not? The smallest doggo in Tortuguero. <laughs> Little guy, little guy, big attitude. There's Dixon and the Policia. Policia here. So I got a new plan now. Me and this dog, <laughs> Mr. Bow Wow, is not coming with me, but uh, I'm headed to that hill. My taxi tour guide there, Dixon, he said he needs to go to. Pick some more people up. He just drummed up some business, so that's good for him. He said I could stay here at Torre de Guerrero for the day, or I could go back with him for the day and just ride around with him, or do whatever I want. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I've asked him to drop me off at that great big hill, and I'm going to walk all the way back to San Francisco, which is about halfway there from here. And I'm gonna find some some super duper animals along the way, mammalians, if you will. The day just got a lot better. I do much better jaunting alone than I do jaunting with uh, a canoe full of strangers. The world is yours. Even got time for one more of these bad boys before I head to the, the lookout point. Pretty excited. Get dropped off in the jungle by myself and just jaunt. Mammals should be moving early today. I should get some agua. Ten o'clock and the stores are opened now. 
It's actually 22 after 10. So I better get, get back to Dixon here. Hopefully I see a Jaguar. Bicycles and carts. The land of bicycles and carts. It's a pretty good land. Might land yourself in jail. Start acting a fool around here. Nobody came, so just a uh, solo, solo trip to the mountain there, to the big hill to climb. I guess I got till 1.15, so about three hours, I guess. Should be enough. the spot. Bye bye Dixon. All right. And the jungle. This is the best. Oh yeah, there's already a great big spider. Land of the giant spiders. Okay. Here we go. Refugia Nacional de Vida Silverstone. Expect hours. Look after your belongings. Hmm. Looks pretty straightforward to me. Hopefully I can find some coconuts on this walk. Haven't got one yet today. Thought Tortuguero would be full of them. But they didn't have none. Now I can take my time and, and watch for sloths. Trying to keep my eyes to the skies, looking for little sloth fingers. Three of them. Three-toed sloth. The dreaded three-toed sloth. Its name is as terrible as it sounds. Yeah, there's like nobody out here. I haven't seen a soul since I got here. There was one guy waiting with a boat. Maybe he dropped somebody off and he's waiting for them. Not too sure. They must not have cleaned this walk since the torrential downpours they had back in the last week, just a few days ago. There are supposed to be bats in this cave. I don't know if I see any. There's gotta be a bat in there. Hmm. They're just asleep. Well, I think I saw a bat, but it was asleep. These little bat balls hanging there. This little guy just came out of nowhere. He's a good dog. I was afraid he was gonna be an angry dog. Now I got a dog. Oh, it's not mine, it must be their dog. I don't feel like it's their dog. Hold on. Scorpion. Oh no. <laughs> Scorpion. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Small. It looks, it looks pretty big to me. <laughs> yeah. It's gone. I guess it wasn't their dog. It's my dog now. But yeah, there was a scorpion sitting there in the sun under these leaves. Now I can't stop looking for scorpions. They said it was just a small one, but it looked. It looked healthy and strong. That looks like something a scorpion would have set up for me to trip over and fall into their nest. A thousand stings all at once. See all the better things happen when you're just out cruising by yourself. Doesn't seem like it was pre-written. I don't like any of those trips that are pre-written. I like to do the riding myself. Probably gonna have bigger problems than scorpions pretty soon. My dog just disappeared. Old Comet, he's gone. What was that? Oh, it was probably this big spider, but I, I couldn't have heard a spider. Jeez, it's a big spider. <laughs> I hear ya, I see ya. Some more monkey madness here. I could see them, I could see the leaves falling. Looked up and he was watching me. Now he's eating leaves. There's two of them. There's one over here too. And this is a spider monkey, and he won't quit eating these leaves. They say the number one thing that destructs rainforest nowadays is spider monkeys eating leaves, more than mankind itself. 
just looking like a little vacuum cleaner. I should have a monkey at my place for the for the autumn when the leaves fall and he can eat up all the leaves. Then I won't have to rake them anymore. I've been having troubles keeping my eyes to the skies after that scorpion again. How many steps is this bugger? Three. Those birds are just making crazy sounds. That shut him up. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. I wonder what beast of the forest did this. Hmm. Probably the long skinny kind. There's a little baby monkey. And that's a white faced monkey. Yeah, it covers all the monkeys that are on this side of Costa Rica. Spider monkey, howler monkey, and white faced little jerk monkey. He swung his way down the canopy. Hopefully I get another, another glimpse of him on the way down. Oh, look at this. Wow, amazing. That's amazing. That is an amazing view of Torre de Guero Park. There's San Francisco. Torre de Guero is way over there. And that's the park. And these are the highlands. There's highlands over there and highlands over here. Oh, this is pretty amazing. I'm the Johnny Ape, and this is Torre de Guero National Park in Costa Rica. Ah, the world is yours. What a hike. The boats are just going. Up he looks a lot cooler from up here than from down below. Just looking at all those, some of the giant trees that are just way bigger than the other ones. And then I wonder what's on that hill, I should go look. But I gotta head back down and somewhere along the lines find me a coconut for crying out loud. There's a dangerous step. Beware. The dangerous step. 48, 49, 150. So I just met a group and uh, I had 222 steps when I got to the platform. One of the ladies asked me if I knew how many more steps. I said 222. And then she said it was 220 she was counting from the bottom. So we'll see if it adds up to 442 or what. I'm at 250, 252 now, anyways. 444, 445, 446. She probably didn't count those. Or one of us got it wrong. Well, I say 440 plus steps to get up to the viewpoint. It was a long hike up there, but it was worth it. It was super nice to get up there with nobody else uh, there at the same time. I met hordes of people coming down. Luck, luck of the draw. And now to uh, San Francisco. Follow the beach trail through the banana farm. He said, and he said I'd probably find coconuts. He figured it was uh, just a quick trek for me through the kind of beach uh, coconut farm trail. He said it was a good, good trail to follow. And if there's a coconut farm, there's gotta be some coconuts for drink. And I'm hoping they're cold. Cold coconut after a hike like that is, um, it's important and necessary, I would say. They could charge me whatever they want. Maybe I even have two left at the bottom. This looks like it. If I were selling coconuts, I'd probably be doing it from underneath that tent. Nothing yet for coconuts. I hope I'm on the right trail. He didn't really say the trail followed the coast. He just says it goes through a coconut farm. But I'm walking the right direction. I know San Francisco is that way. No coconuts or coconut trees. <laughs> Ruff. I'll find my way. So I'd say the highlight of the day for me was probably that scorpion so far for creatures that I probably not everybody sees. Yeah, it was really cool. I wanted to get better footage of it with the uh, other cameras, but those ladies sh shoot it off the walk with a stick real quick. They didn't like it. I'm just walking down a power line, I think. What? Well, the power line's got to lead to the town, I guess. I would think. Power line probably goes to town. Makes sense to me. You got to get to town. I still got an hour and 10 minutes to mess around and uh, wouldn't be surprised if Dixon was late because he's at around 1.15, so. Pretty old tree, looks dead. There's a few greeners on it. I bet you the spider monkeys, I bet you the spider monkeys just had a heyday here. Probably just feeding and making love. Eating up all the leaves. Those little pigs, canopy pigs. 
Oh, and this is a coconut farm. I'm on the right way. Those are coconuts. They're planted in unison, but nobody's got any cold ones for me. Here comes a motorbiker. Don't step on any snakes while I move over for the guy. I didn't fly my drone today. Dixon said I probably could have flown it at Tortuguero if I took off in the soccer field and just took some pictures from there. But then he said there was commercial flights coming in after 12 and I uh, just didn't really like that. And then there was police there. So I'm always scared of getting into trouble from my drone. Maybe it's because I got smoked in the head by a drone once upon a time, about two years ago. So I got this fear of drones. Is that a thing? Huh, so it really ain't far um, to the village of San Francisco from that trail. That was only a few minutes, I guess. Now I go to the bus stop for boats. I guess today's Saturday, so people probably, people probably just do whatever they want today. That would explain, I've seen lots of Costa Ricans at the uh, oops, lookout point. I think I'm going the right way to the boat launch. I don't think I stressed enough this morning how tired I was. I'm gonna, I better sleep like a baby tonight. I better sleep like 10 hours. That would be terrific. That little dog, right? How many hours should I sleep? Hey, hey, I'm talking to you, talking to you. Little chihuahua face, across the big dish. Yeah, big leap of faith. You're my hero. Take a dump. Chihuahuas bite sometimes, I think. Little guy's scared. Somebody called him a fool once before. But now he's my best bud. Friends to the end, right little guy? That's right, a little terrific time I'm having. Just uh, little houses and really nice little lawns. Like these places are, are super nice. If any of you guys have seen the uh, movie Big Fish, it's one of my favorites. This place reminds me of the little town that he gets stuck in there for a little while. Pleasantville, maybe it was called. Happyton. Can't remember what the name of the town was, but this place reminds me a lot like it. People are all just having, everyone's really happy. It's really nice yards. Dogs running around. All that's missing is shoes, shoes on a power line. I like this place better than Tortuguero, the little town. They really keep a nice tight ship on their yards here. There's a bird. This is the boat launch. Found it. I wonder if they got beer here. I could drink beer like a crazy person. Ah, oh, my boat should be here pretty soon. 12 minutes was the meeting time. Here comes Dixon. I've landed back at Tortuguero and everybody's out and about now. Look at that pork on a grill. Things are cooking now. This is better, I guess. Oh, it's a casino. That's weird. There was a little casino at San Francisco too at the grocery store. I thought that was odd. Time to go see Dixon and get rolling back to back to the real world. I guess I gotta plan my next little excursion, which is to uh, La Fortuna. A couple more times to plan. I gotta plan that. I gotta plan Monte Verde. I gotta plan Monte Antonio. And then I gotta plan going home, which is horrible. I'm just pumped about everything else and then I, eh, that's just horrible. So that's the way that goes. Can't find a darn coconut to save my life. It's hot. Fresh and cold. Yeah. Perfect. I've been looking for a coconut all day. The best, the best coconut in town. How much are they? How many uh, colonies? 1,000. I don't need a straw. I'm good. I'm okay. Yeah, like, like yeah. That's it. Oh, it's cold. Delicious. There we go. He's back. He's back and we're ready to go. Get like a hero and just scale in the, the fence like a, like a prize horse. Hard to believe I was just over there climbing that hill. This guy's got quite a load on their cart. It's tables for sale, tons of them. Hey, hey, 
wild. Yeah, this is a good spot. Super cool. Now this is what it's all about. This is one of the coolest parts of the journey, this tiny little river that comes through. Uh, it's off the beaten path. You don't have to go this way, but Dixon took me down here because I asked him for some good footage off the front of the boat. And here we go. This is just amazing. It's like something out of a movie. It smells incredible. It sounds incredible. It looks incredible. Pavona Jungle Expeditions here in Costa Rica. Tortuguero. Come check it out. You want to talk about some of the coolest little river rides ever? This is one of them. This is absolutely amazing. There's even some monkeys running around in the trees. Very cool. Just part of the day trip when you do the Pavona Jungle Expedition day trip with Dixon. One of the best guides I've ever had, very knowledgeable. He knows how to find the animals. He knows all the coolest spots to take you on the boat here. If I was an alligator, this is where I'd be. This is why we do it. This is why we travel. See stuff like this. Dixon is incredibly lucky that this is part of his day job. This is what he does. He comes and does this tour probably a few days a week. Tour de Guero. This is the place to be. How was it? Good. Yeah. There's the captain of the vessel. <laughs> Thanks, Dixon. <laughs> Pura Vida. Ah, look at the little guy coming in here. Just little people having fun. Perfecto. I love it. Onward and upward. Now we're gonna give her down this final stretch here. This is a pretty cool part of the river. Get some good speed down it. There's some really, really cool views on it. So this is the ride home. Look at this. I'm sure there's just monkeys about. Dixon is a heck of a good driver. He had another driver this morning. Dixon runs multiple boats so he can uh, pick many people up at once in the same day. If ever you are looking to go to Tortuguero, I would highly recommend Dixon and Pavona Jungle Expeditions. I couldn't ask for a better guide and a better trip. Dixon has put a lot of work into this business and it shows. And there is the finish line. Dixon's got his Rockstar parking. I've got 15% on my fourth battery of the day and the last battery. And there's the finish line. There's Dixon and his Rockstar parking. Looks like the police are there to give him a ticket already. Nice. Guys, bro. Nice. I mean, pretty sunny. Everything gets like really highlighted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for the tour. Yeah. Incredible day. It's a shame I'm so so tired. <laughs> Didn't sleep a whole bunch last night. There's the beast that got us here. Cool little vehicle. And that's it, that's all she wrote for the day. Got some camping, some new camper mates here. Gonna get all my stuff charged up. I'm gonna have a hell of a good night. Much better sleep tonight in here. Before I leave this place, unfortunately, I just had a really good talk with Dixon and uh, I don't wanna leave, I'd rather stay, but I've gotta go, I've gotta go and see other places and make more videos for you, for you guys. So this is, uh, this is good. This is really good. And there's the monkey was in that tree last night. And I bet you he's in there now. Crazy. <laughs>